I want a small, super hot chili pepper variety. So I'm making one myself. I have been trying to produce a small fruited super hot for some years now, starting with a cross between Butyolokia and Karayoka, and later on I crossed in some scorpions and reapers. In previous videos I already discussed some sidelines and older versions that now await winter outside. Who knows, maybe I bred a winter hardy chili pepper by accident, maybe. But now let's discuss the remaining breeding lines, starting with the Karayolokia scorpion strain D, generation F3 after the back cross. This is the only specimen of it. It germinated last year and it has suffered quite a bit in 2020. This line proved to be rather stable, but I decided to retire it because it's basically just a Karyolokia with slightly enlarged fruits. There's new growth as you can see. And I decided to make a bonchi out of it, or however you're supposed to pronounce that. It has a mm, comparatively large trunk, so it's probably very nice as a bonsai. Bonchi, however. Next up, the Karyolokia Screeper Strain Zero, Generation F2. Ta-da! There they are. Germination was not very successful, unfortunately. But they grew well and I decided to cut them down a bit. Since they will not be fruiting this year anyway. That's isopod food now. This one is still a bit little, so it can keep the leaves for now. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yay! Well, maybe, no, better than nothing. It is a cross between the previously mentioned Karyolokia scorpion strain E and a very nice Carolina Reaper specimen with really, really pronounced stingers. And this is the interesting generation where the traits are going to be rearranged. And now for my latest creation, the Ahi Charipa F1. They germinated well, almost a bit too well. So I had to separate them. I left one in the original pot, some others I transferred into a regular normal pot, and two others I'm going aquaponic. The winter quarters of my Medaka rice fishes will double as an aquaponic setup for this chili pepper. And I also decided to have a little bit of fun with a bottle setup. I was inspired by a video of Kangstar. I think this new line will be the future of my breeding program. I hope to combine the excellent taste and small size of the Ahi Charapita with the extreme clean pure burn of the Carolina Reaper chocolate. My objectives for 2021 will be Karyolokia Scorpion Strain D, enjoy it as a bonchi, Karyolokia Screeper Strain Zero, scan the F2 generation for suitable specimens for the continuation of the breeding program, Ahi Charipa, grow out the F1 generation, produce many seeds to continue with the F2 generation, and there I will start to scan for suitable specimens as well. And I suspect that the Ahi Charipa will at least provide the majority of the genome of my final product.